Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So someone requested that I make a video about uh, styles and themes. So let's actually make like a little um, theme thingy. So let's, let's just add random components to this form like a label, an edit, a memo, a button, checkbox, radio button, list box, comma box, panel and that's it for now. Here we have some random components on the form. Okay, let's increase their font size. We'll make it just like 24. Let's increase the width, make it like 100, no like 300 and make their height like 50, 100, okay 100 is fine, so just have some random components here, okay so let's actually go just like, like move the combo box here to the bottom, here, make it a bit longer and have a button for it. Let's first um, test out the different styles. So go to options, like it's here, um, project, options. Oh, by the way, this, this is actually my new house, which I am recording in now. Um, it's still in um, a bit of under construction, but I should be making a lot of videos soon, as well as maybe in higher quality. So yeah, anyway, here we have, go to uh, application and appearance in this object, in this options. Then you can select some themes here. But for instance, okay, we've selected some themes now. Let's actually select a Windows 10 theme. Let's select the Windows 10 purple theme. Default style. So let's choose the default style as the Windows 10 purple style. We press OK. And we compile. And run. Then we can actually see how it changed the start this form for us as you can see here and you can even preview the different styles before you actually use them such as this so yeah let's actually actually go and add all of these styles um almost done okay, so I've added, added all of these styles then I'll choose the normal windows as my default style and now let's actually go to the forms on uh, create event and here we will write some code but first go to the, to the users list and add vcl.themes if you're using an older version of Delphi or um, then you might just want to leave out the VCL. If you're using Lazarus, then you won't be able to do this video, sadly. But it is here for for newer versions of Delphi. Actually, I, I actually think like very old versions of Delphi that doesn't even have these themes, like Delphi 7, for instance. This is a kind of new thing. Anyway, just add VCL dot themes. Let's start writing. Let's start writing some code. Let's add a variable called style name of type string. And you make a little for loop, for in loop, for style name in t style manager dot style names. So the t style manager thing basically holds all of the styles and every, and everything about it. This is inside of the themes unit. Okay, let's add some code. Let's actually first clear the combo box. So say combo box one dot clear. Then we say here. Combo box one dot combo box one dot items dot add and we add a style name to it. So if we compile now and run the project 
you can see that it actually added all of the different Windows 10 styles here for us. So you can select one, but do not do anything as of yet? Let me actually just make this form go full screen when it is loaded. Windows state maximized. Okay, let's change this button caption to um, set style. Okay, so now go to this button set style, and here we'll just add t style manager dot set style, and we'll say the combo box one dot oh, combo box one dot text. So we'll take the text that's currently in this combo box and then use it and then and then use it to set a style. So it, it, it is as simple as that. So let's run this project. Now we can set styles in runtime. For instance, the Ruby Graphite or the Metropolis UI Dark or like the Windows 10 Blue. Whatever you want to set, you can now set as different styles here. This is really nice. You can it's really nice to add this into your apps and projects. But this is but this is only available in newer versions of uh, Delphi, as far as I know. And in the next video, we'll actually learn how to save the styles. So the styles stays active when you load a project, a new project, so that, so that, that it saves it, so that it saves it somewhere on the computer. And open a form then it keeps the previously saved set style as well. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And obsidian.